Hey guys, welcome on another ride along with me. It is a rainy, rainy Friday. We are getting the after effects of what is now Tropical Storm Harvey all the way here in Tennessee. And we are under a flood watch, so... Um, or a warning, whichever is the worst one at this point. Luckily in my neighborhood, I don't see anything flooding, but I bet our town creek is probably about to its banks and stuff like that. So I am out just running around today. Um, I have some things that I have to come home with. Trash bags, number one. Some uh, medicine from the pharmacy for my family and some dinner. So those are the main things that we're on the hunt for today. I think, of course, we may go to Starbucks. I have not had lunch yet and it's two o'clock. Um, and there's lots and lots of cute things at the Dollar Tree right now. They're putting out all the fall decor and the Halloween decor and they have a lot of elf makeup and some new nails and all this great stuff that I'm seeing people haul. And so I am very tempted to go and um, find that for myself So while I still can. And they should just be putting them out. So hopefully we will luck up and find some um, really cute nails today. And then there's some new candle holders out that I'm looking for. Still some of the paper packs um, that I am interested in. So lots and lots of cute things. So that's what we're doing today. So I'm glad you're out riding along with me. It is definitely a ball hat day. Unfortunately, I washed my hair yesterday and um, let it dry naturally and I was just gonna wear it like that today, but it was still pouring down rain and I'm like, mm, it's not even worth it. I'll just put a hat on. So it's not like you're not used to seeing me in them anyways. Hats are one of my most favorite things. Cannot live without them. And I also need a haircut, so. Maybe before the month is out, I will make me an appointment and get a haircut and some color this month. The color is not too bad, but definitely need a haircut. And I'm kind of thinking about doing a different style. I don't know what I want to do yet, though. I like the style that I have been wearing. Um, it seems more flattering than a lot of the, the longer things, longer styles that I have tried. My hair always grows back into a bob since the 80s that's like been my standby hairdo I guess because every do I get when it grows back out it looks like a bob so but yeah that's about it nothing going on too exciting around here just this weather's kind of had everybody on edge again please send your prayers your support um, your good thoughts to everyone in Texas and Louisiana being affected by Harvey Again, we are getting the rain after effects down in Tennessee from it, but nothing like what they have suffered through. We did have a tornado touchdown yesterday, um, I think on the western end of the state, and we've had some pretty um, bad flooding two towns over that way. So, um, it's not one of the towns that we normally do a Dollar Tree shopping haul from, but my friend Henry that you probably have heard me talk about, um, she lives over in that area. So, we really need to call and check on her. She's getting ready to pack up and move back to California. You know, she spends half the year here in Tennessee and then half the year in California with her family and um, they've all moved out there permanently and so that's what she's getting ready to do. So I'm going to miss my friend Henry. She always stays with my mom when we're going to different concerts and um, anytime we get to get away then she comes and stays with my mom and we've just been family friends forever so I do need to um, actually make sure my mom has checked on her. So I think what we're going to do is I was going to stay in town just because of the rain but I really really want to look at the Dollar Tree in Hermitage so we may go down there first and do a little shopping 
and it's about a 30 minute trip and hit Starbucks on the way. And then on the way back, I've got to go through the pharmacy drive through to get that medicine and I may just go in there and get some trash bags. It's pretty bad. You know, you can usually make do when you're out of stuff. And I guess I could use all my Dollar Tree bags for my trash. You know, but I don't know. Running out of trash bags to me is like running out of toilet paper. Which I also need to get at the Dollar Tree. Oh, um, I don't know. We gotta get some. And I don't want Dollar Tree trash bags either because I need more. We go through more trash at my house than you can imagine. Um, so, I need to learn how to recycle and do some things better. But for now, we just need some trash bags. So, I'm not going to keep you guys the whole time. I just want to do a quick vlog and just kind of check in and chat. Not a lot goes on around my house. Thank goodness we live a pretty drama-free life and that's the way we like it. Um, trying to think. I did post that video yesterday with the craft room tour. That's coming along. It's just taken me over a year to do it. But, you know, that's the last room in the house. And um, I'm still not decorated like in my bedroom and my living room and even the craft room I have all this stuff that I'm going to kind of repurpose and then I've added a few new things too but um, I need spray paint and it's just been so incredibly hot this summer and now it's raining and you know excuse after excuse I haven't been out there to do it so I've got some pieces I need to hang up in the living room and rearrange and then I have two pieces of art still to um, figure out how I'm going to frame for the craft room. And a, a big mirror that I need somebody um, that's much stronger than me that can hold it up and find the stud and put it up for me. And then I'm going to put up all my little Dollar Tree signs that you have seen me haul. And then other than that with the craft room, it's just mainly going back through the things where I have found a spot for them to get up them off the floor. and. Um, really organize them. So that's my big thing right now is I just want to get everything in a spot up off the floor and organized because I have a ton of lamps. I have a ton of artwork and stuff like that in my house that I'm either going to send to Goodwill, which is really too nice to send to Goodwill, but it's older stuff and you know, it's nobody wants it at this point um, because it is older stuff, you know, so it's like mauves and blues and mint greens and um, stuff like that. So, anyways, what I do like that I can repurpose and spray paint and DIY, I have kept just, if nothing else, to practice on for DIYs. But anyways, I gotta find a place to store all that mess. So, it's like never ever ending. I still have over in the other craft room a whole dresser and closet full of like wood like stuff to make wood signs with the cricket and things like that with so if I can ever get all of that incorporated into one room I will be a happy camper it is a process I am to what I'm doing though to get motivated I am watching other people's YouTube videos of the tours of their craft rooms so that kind of helps give me some inspiration and motivation. And I'm also watching all these clean with me videos. So, um, you know, that's lots of fun as well. And great motivation. Although, even though it's motivation, I really don't get my butt up and do it. I am organizing drawers and things like that that you can't see. Unfortunately, I wish I could just say, look what I've done, and you'd be like, oh yeah, I can really tell a difference. It don't work that way in my house. Everything's in a drawer, and then you got to go back at some point and organize it. So anyways, guys, I'm not going to keep you any longer and bore you to death with my organizing and clean with me and all of that stuff. I will keep you informed on the craft room as we go along. Maybe I'll do a living room tour at some point so you guys can see I did get the ugly curtains down you followed me on that project um, all of
all of that kind of stuff. The new floor, I think I have showed you guys already. And so, lots of stuff like that goes around, goes on at my house. We are trying to remodel and redo one project at a time. And that house has not been redone ever, probably. And it was built in like 1959. And since my mother's disabled and she's pretty much confined to one room, it never really mattered to her to do anything to the rest of the house. We moved from a small house to that big old house with two houses on the same property. And um, I decorated my house, redid everything in there, new carpets, new paint, and you know, all the decor and all that. And then she just basically used what she had from the small house and bought more pieces and of um, that same kind of style and just went with it and never changed it. And I'm not like that. I'm always either spray painting something or buying something new um, to, to decorate my house and change it around. So that's what I enjoy doing. And now that I am um, home all the time and not working as I feel like it, then you know, that's my entertainment to redecorate and repurpose. So hope you guys do enjoy those type of videos. Hope you like the vlog, just kind of getting to know me and my family and kind of what I call our chaos. Um, you know, it's just chaos around my house because mainly we have so many pets, but I am a sucker for a throwaway dog. I did foster for a pit rescue for a little while, but um, I had two shit zoos and um, a multi-poo thrown into my mix that are permanent fixtures of my house and so I quit fostering and now all these guys are mine. So we have a zoo at my house and, and it's that's the chaos is corralling all of them and trying to get them to be quiet if you're filming and at some point you just have to give up and just go with it and that's pretty much what I've resigned myself to. So if my channel, if that bothers you and hearing all the noise then my channel will not be for you and, and that's fine I totally understand that um, it's a very laid-back channel it's for the sole purpose of me making new friends doing something fun I do have a media background and um, but not in video or anything like that mine was always radio behind and behind the scenes with lighting and things like that you know, I've told you guys all that before. So I've even told you my backstory and my fibro um, story. So you can go check that out. But anyways, um, I do appreciate each and every one of you that have stuck around, that watch the videos, that enjoy getting to know me. I enjoy getting to know you guys. And I do appreciate each and every one of you. I noticed that we've got a handful of new subscribers the past week or so. So welcome to all of you guys. Welcome back to everyone that's been here since November of 2016 when I started the channel. It was really, I believe, in April when I got active. So things are moving right along for my small little channel. And I do appreciate each and every one of you. I want you to comment and interact if you have a question or you want to know something or you want to suggest something but you don't want to leave it in the comments my email address is in my about section so click on that and um, get it from there it is prowless guys for a thousand miles at gmail.com i know it's a long name but i've told you guys before it means something to me it's a line from a song that i adopted as my theme song years and years ago from lee nash charm life and um, hopefully one day it'll mean something to you guys. So when you see it, you'll know it and, and know that that's me. All right, guys, I'm coming up on 15 minutes. So I'm going to say bye to y'all. And I'm about halfway to Starbucks. So I'm going to figure out what I want. And then maybe when I get out of the Dollar Tree, we will have lots and lots of good stuff to share. So hope you guys are having a great Friday so far. Hope it's not raining where you are. Hope you're not in the midst of all of the Harvey um, tropical storm and the hurricane and all of that like we are. I think things are going to be much better here though than in Texas by far. So guys, again, my thoughts are with everyone that are um, suffering through this uh, in Texas and in Louisiana and God bless you and I will see you guys really, really soon. Bye.